Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use NIS or NVIDIA Image Scaling. So this is something new that NVIDIA released like AMD's FSR but on a driver level. So it's at the moment exclusive for NVIDIA GPUs on a driver level. You can use it on AMD cards using a third-party software like Lossless Scaling or Magpie. But that's a completely different story that I do not recommend right now, so let's get started. So first of all, with your drivers installed and everything, right-click on your desktop, click what it says NVIDIA Control Panel, that will open the Control Panel. Then, you just need to go to the Manage 3D Settings option, and here in Global Settings, there is the Image Scaling thing that we're looking for. This is NIS. So you click on it and it'll show GPU scaling and sharpening. Personally, the sharpening, I like it at around between 10 and 30%. More than this looks over sharpened in my opinion, in most games that I tried. But you can play with this depending on the game. Some games look better with higher sharpening, some others not so much. And I like to take this overlay indicator so you know when it's working and when it's not working. So after you set this up, click OK. And after doing that, you have to apply the settings. So apply. Your screen will go black for a second. And after it comes back, that should be on. You need to restart your PC now. So let's reboot. OK, guys, so now we rebooted the PC. Let's go back again into the NVIDIA control panel. So we open it up. And what you'll notice now in change resolution, this part right here, you have new resolutions on your list. There is 918p, 831p, and a percentage right next to them. Well, this is uh, taking your native resolution and using a lower resolution to upscale to your native screen resolution. In this case, I have a 1080p monitor. So my options are between 50% and 85%. If you have a 4K screen, as an example, since the lowest is 50%, your minimum resolution there will be 1080p. So you're limited by your monitor's native resolution, keep that in mind. So if you have a, I don't know, a 1440p display, this will be way higher of a resolution. So yeah, anyway. So as you can see, my native resolution is 1080. I personally recommend not going below 77% on a 1080p image. Just personal preference, of course. So now that you got that selected, we gotta open a game and test it out. So now I'm into the game and as you can probably notice, my resolution is the same as I put in the launcher, 1477 by 831. And on the top left corner, there is a green thing that says NIS. Not sure if you guys can see it. NIS. That means when it's green that it's working, so that's what we wanted. That means that it's taking that low resolution, 831p, and upscaling it to our native resolution, which in this case is 1080p. But you don't need to specifically be using this one. You can use other resolutions that are not in that list. So you can also do, if you want to, for some reason, upscale 720p up to 1080p. So I have a 720p resolution set in my exclusive full screen. And as you can see, I have a higher frame rate, yeah. And NIS is working. Again, that green thing at the top left corner. So yeah, you don't need to do basically anything else. As long as the game supports full screen and you select a resolution, it'll grab that resolution and upscale it to your native using that algorithm. And then if you decide to go for your native resolution, for example, in this case, 1080p. NIS will be disabled. I think there are only, there's only sharpening going on. That's why now the NIS text is blue instead of green. That means that it's not, basically not doing anything. I'm guessing it's using only the sharpening. So yeah, pretty useful feature. But there are some games that you might say, oh man, my game doesn't have full screen. It only has borderless full screen. Well, let's tackle that as well. Okay guys, so now I'm on a game that does not support full screen. The most recent one that I remember is Halo Infinite. Many Windows Store games have this issue, but this is on Steam, so doesn't have to do with the Windows Store. As you can see, it says borderless full screen, 
this ticked and if you untick it you get windowed mode so how do you, do you get your custom resolution from the nvidia control panel here because you can only change the size of the resolution scale well there's a very simple way just uh alt tab out of the game so alt tab well the easiest way actually just press the windows key between alt and control and type uh, resolution so it says change the resolution of the display once you open that up it'll show you your native resolution which in this case again is 1080p so select the resolution now that you want to use in this case 831p the custom resolution made by the nvidia control panel for nis keep the changes and as you can see as soon as you put your custom resolution on your desktop it already says NIS in green, that means that it's working. So let's get back into Halo. And as you can see now in Halo it detected our lower resolution and it's at 1477 by 831. So we're essentially using NIS on a borderless full screen game. This works on basically all borderless full screen titles. As long as this green text is there, you're good to go. So yeah, this means higher higher FPS, basically, so you shouldn't need to worry about that anymore. <laughs> you just upscale your native resolution and you'll have some extra frames without destroying the image, like lowering the resolution like a normal person. And this also works with uh, any resolution. So if you want to do, again, 720p upscale to 1080p using this technique, in this case, let's, let's do... 900p to make it simpler because I think Halo Infinite doesn't have a 720p option so I have a 900p now and as you can see the game is on 900p and NIS is still green so yeah we're still upscaling to 1080p so you can do it with basically any resolution that you want but the custom resolutions set by the NVIDIA control panel at least in my opinion look best so yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, this tutorial. If you want to see my opinion on this technology, there's a link in the description where I tested uh, different resolutions and did side-by-side -side comparisons. Personally, I think it's a great feature and that AMD should do the same with FSR. Put it on a driver level, not on a game-to-game -game basis. So yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Well, again, NIS Ultra Quality is kind of like on FSR, it's uh, X31P, so let's put play. As you can see, the frame rate improvement is very noticeable, very noticeable. We jump from 39 to 53, <laughs> so it's a massive uplift. And honestly, I think I'll take the ultra quality image. Although the text is more clear in the 1080p native image. But I mean, considering the performance uplift, this looks incredible. Wow. So yeah, this is around 831p again. So as you can see, first of all, the performance difference, you jump from 24 cinematic FPS to 32. And let's see it in motion. Okay, yeah, I can see here that it's a little bit more unstable visually. You can see that those edges lose some of the detail here, but it's a very tiny thing. It does look like a lower resolution. But it still looks good. Um, again, the performance difference is quite large. So a little bit of blur doesn't bother me in this case.